So I posted this video of this truck the other day and said that it had uh, a Cummins in it. And everybody, well, a lot of people corrected me and said that it had a cap motor in it. And the reason I said it had a Cummins in it is because I bought this truck at an auction and it was advertised in the auction brochure as having a 400 big cam Cummins in it. And then the auctioneer, when he auctioned it off, he also said that it had a 400 big cam in it. And so, you know, I had no reason to question it. And I had never really even looked at the motor closely, engine, whatever you want to call it, until, you know, a, a, a while ago. So I bought this truck last spring. And I guess, I don't know, a month after I got it, I was curious and popped a hood just to see what it looked like and but not to you know to double check what kind of motor it was just to uh see what they had done because i was told it had an end frame done on it so um i never questioned what i was told which i'm new to diesel engines um but i have worked quite a bit on my 3406b and my 95 kenworth i drive every day but i I hadn't been back to this truck and and really raised the the hood on it until the other day when I did this video so I really hadn't even looked at it close um I did the I did the video the other day and um just trying to show you guys what was up with it and several people pointed it out to me and said that it was uh a cap motor so we're gonna raise the hood and look at it again I know it is a cap motor um, but we're gonna see if we can tell what kind of cap motor it is so like I said in the other video I was told that it had an end frame done on it and the head is definitely off and they definitely wrapped it up real nice when they were working on it um, but this is basically the view that I had looked at it. I never even really looked at it on the other side. So I really didn't even have any kind of idea. But you know, after all the, the comments and everything, I came around on this side of the engine. And looking at, looking at the ejection pump, and looking at the lines going to the injectors. And I know I know these lines because I've had to work on them on my cap motor and my 95. And I know, and then looking at the linkage down here on the injection pump, I know it is a cap motor. And I'm pretty sure because of the way the injection pump is bolted to the back of the front cover, that it's a 3406B. I mean, in an, in an 84, it could have been a 3406A or a 3406B. But looking at what I'm looking at, I'm pretty sure it's a, a, a B model. Um, it has the same the same power steering pump, the same reservoir and all as my 95. Um, like I said, the injection pump setup looks like my 95. So, I'm pretty sure it is a B model. And we're going to we're going to unwrap this motor for a second and see what these cylinders look like. So y'all hang tight. All right, so they've got newspaper stuff down in all the cylinders all right so it's it's not fresh because it's got carbon got carbon on the sleeves and carbon on the top of the pistons but it looks really clean and the cylinders look really good so We'll 
clean this thing up. And uh, I did get the head for it. The head is actually at Jonathan's. Uh, I looked at the head when we got it, and Jonathan told me that it wasn't, you know, because Cummins have three heads on them. But these 3406Bs has only one head. And I really have never looked at the head. And so after you guys let me know that this was a coming, I mean a cat motor, I went online and looked up a cat head. And the head that I have is definitely a cat head. So what, what we'll do is we'll go to Jonathan's and we'll get that head and we'll inspect it real good and see what kind of condition it is in. And if it's in good shape, we'll get this thing back together. If not, we'll get another head for it or get that head redone. And then we'll put this thing back together. So, and actually, you know, I'm, I, I'm a cat guy. I like the way a cat runs on I like the um I like the performance of them and and Jonathan had told me that he had heard two different people came to him and talked to him about this truck and said that it used to go to the local truck stop and try to get people to race him and a lot of people had said well you know a big cam they, they just didn't see that happening with a big cam but that it's easy to see that with a cat motor so um i haven't run any numbers on this motor but we will try to see if we can get some numbers off of this thing and run them and see you know if it's a 400 or a four and a quarter and um see what we got here but like i said it looks Looks to be pretty good. Uh, um, doubting if it's had an M frame. Um, but what I'm seeing looks looks really nice. So we'll we'll get it together and, and see what we got. So I see the air compressor is missing off of it, and I didn't see it in the truck with the rest of the parts. So. Might have to require an air compressor for it, but we'll see see what's in the truck, see what we got, see what we're missing, and uh, get on it from there. But all in all, what I got in this truck. It's, even if I have to do quite a bit of engine work to it, um, it's still going to be a heck of a deal. The Like I said, the body's not all beat up. And um, I'm finding, finding a cap motor in this thing is really a bonus to me. Um, so, y'all just stay tuned and we'll show you more on this one. All right, so I had used an eraser wheel to get the lettering off of this door here. And my wife Boots had told me something that I didn't know. I have took a bunch of decals off of a bunch of different vehicles and getting the glue off is the worst part of it. And she told me that baby oil is a good solvent to get the glue off. And so she has put baby oil on this thing and it's getting the glue off of it for me. And it's doing a fantastic job. So we're, we're just playing with this because it's going to be a minute before we are ready to do any paint and body, but I wanted to, to get the decals off of it anyway. 
and we're going next week and finish prepping that chassis to come home. I've got to put one spring under the front end, put the axle up underneath of it, and then get the the cab ready to come off, and they'll lift the cab off, and then we'll hook up to it and come home. And I was, I've also decided that I'm gonna get the um, the wiring harness out of that truck and put in this truck. This boots had pulled all the gauges out of it and told me how how nice the wiring looked on it. So we sat down and decided it'd probably be best since the wiring on it looked so good that we'll pull the harness out of that thing and put in this truck since that truck is, uh, oh my goodness, 20 years newer than this one. So naturally the wiring's got to be better than what's in here. So that's what we're gonna do. So this, this old truck right here, I'm really excited about it because I know it's gonna make just a, the coolest truck. We're, the frame that we're putting up underneath of it, I walked it out and it's it's uh, a foot longer than Boots' this truck here. Um, and I think, from what I've read, I think it's 263 inch wheelbase. So with this, with this little 36 inch sleeper on here, it's going to really look stretched out. And it should ride good. I know a lot of people have said something about the eight, the eight airbag system and that it's not the best riding system in the world, but we're going to try it out. And, and if it, if it rides rougher than, than I like, then we can, we can change, we can change the air ride setup on it. But the biggest thing I'm looking at is that overall the parts that are coming with the chassis, it's got two beautiful 150 gallon tanks. Um, 10 aluminum wheels, uh, the length of the chassis without, it'll look stretched without having to stretch it. So it's a nice strong chassis. It's solid. So I think overall we've done well, even if we have to replace the air ride to a four bag system, I think we've come out to the good on it. So like I said, we're going to get up there and get, get that chassis out from underneath the truck as soon as we can and get it down here and uh, get to cleaning on it. It's gonna get a complete chassis overhaul. So it'll be all new brake drums, brake shoes, brake chambers, air lines, everything. And it'll get blasted and painted. So it's really gonna, it's really gonna be nice. This is gonna be, I've told you guys, it's gonna be a work and show truck. And this will be the truck that I drive every day. And I'll, and I'll sit mold truck up for a minute so y'all stay tuned and we'll show you